Hello, welcome back to the NCS. We are here at Indianapolis. A quick look at qualifying from top to the bottom. It's going to be intense for 38 of us here. Vent Nation with the pole, wasting no time at all. Green flag, let's jump right into it. Vent Nation pole sitter actually got a bad start. Oh man. The 51 got the jump on him, and it's gonna he's gonna feel it for about an entire lap. But no, uh, inside looking more powerful now. And definitely, long way to go. It's, it's all about trying to pace yourself now. RS using that outside, using the initial start to. Freaking nail a lead here. Jesus. Oh, the danger is three wide on the front stretch. A little close for contact with these guys. Oh, fuck. Can they live it? Live it. Going through turn one three wide. This looks like some shit. Oh, outside wall. Calamity. Early. This is, uh... Whoa. Big... Fucking mess. Chippy's flipping. I can't even tell what's going on anymore. Yeah, that, all st that mess started with Chippy just... Oh, God. Everybody from the... I can't even tell where to look. Arn, he's off spinning dukes in his own world. Several drivers looking like they're trying to avoid the shit. Yeah, bottom lane actually got a lot better than you'd think. Jake with a bit of damage from that. King got a piece of it as well. Chippy's fucking flying through the air. Everybody's scrambling to get through. I think... Those few that did have some damage. Interesting to see if everybody returned safely, though. They were everywhere. It looks like King, King and Jake got some. KSS ended up with some damage. Toad, Arn with the big damage. We saw Chippy flipping earlier, so he's most likely out of the scene. So let's take a look at who all's got to be fucked up right now. Arn, he's he's calling it. Chippy's most likely out. Don't think Duke's that screwed. Oh, we've seen him. We've seen some drivers come back from worse. So the first restart take place on lap seven. At RS, Italian Bomb, Racer, Piper, Misty, Born, Tayo, Ladion, Jerry, and Caddy. And I think Lucas Cram might have uh, had a isolated incident. I don't think he had that much damage from the crash, but yeah, Lucas is out now. Whoops. All right, Green's back out. Italian bum. Looking to take the lead now. Someone's finally up to the challenge to take the lead from the 51. And it looks like the 18's going to take everyone to the low side with them. Man, I see Taiho also hung out the drive back there as well. Oh, big wide from the 51. Everything looks to be in order. Piper does does not want to do that three wide. You don't want to go there. Three of Tayo found a way back in. Everyone just single file, looking to make a move on each other, given the opportunity. It's 
stats rather strung out back there. See who's in, see who's out. Okay, RS just buying time on the high side, trying not to get too fucked up. Doing his best to just make the most of what he's got. They're definitely forming two lanes now. Oh, they got two big lanes. This could be the exact thing these drivers, drivers are trying to avoid. Couldn't tell you how much patience it takes to be in one of these situations here. Meanwhile, the front, Ladion and Ty up front. Yeah, the Ladion conundrum is interesting as he's looking to make gangs on the 15 in points. And so far, that appears to be the case as Karibo running outside the top 20. But hey, he's looking to change. Meanwhile, Ladion, he's on his way back, so keep your eye on those two for the remainder of the regular season. Things could get interesting. Jerry looking up front, ready to take the lead, just doing Jerry things. Mans. I always see him up front. Oh, Ty running a little wide there. I think I made these drivers more consistent. Definitely helped the, um, them to not fuck up all the time, but sometimes just do what you gotta do. Jerry. Not sure if he's going to be forced into a third lane. It looks like they do, but they just don't. Ethan take the point pretty soon. A nine of Steve up front now. A lot of these drivers just... Tough for them to stay up high once they get up there. Some of the more experienced drivers. Oh. Uh, See more of those guys with uh, good track records in near the back of this group. Some of them could be just hanging back there when the inevitable shit goes down. Blasta making a pretty aggressive move on Falcon there. Those two look close together. But I think Falcon vacates to the high side. I got a lot of uh, got a lot of uh, midfielders making their way to the front. Kryptonite, Cha, Karibo, Clipper, Ace. You'd be surprised how much power doesn't really matter when you got these big tracks where you can just draft up with everybody and use. Speed from less drag to make car go faster. 
That's like the fucking caveman explanation of aerodynamics. Less drag make car go faster. Yeah, thanks. And that was your in-race reporter, fucking Barry the Caveman from a time machine we pulled him out of like several million years ago. This isn't going to become a segment, so don't even ask. Kryptonite start high. Yeah, these guys might. I'm not sure if they're going to accidentally slip it to three wide, but we see some of these other guys, top five consistent of weaker cars. So, oh, Clipper almost slipped it right up into Karibo. That would have been bad. Eddie might have had a little bit of damage from the previous incident, but now we see Tank Gunner in that four car making great work of what he's got so far. See 17 open and close the door at. That's a tough, tough to go, tough to work around there. I uh, see a high 420 working together there. As we see freaking laundry sauce. My boy. He's back looking to our top five. CS Fast 11 drafted right back up these guys. Well, we see a couple cars actually not have pace. Oh, Clipper. Almost screwing it up again. Oh, now he's actually going three wide. This could get bad. Bad news. Coming right to you. The 23 stuck in a high position. Tent Gunner is the middle of three. This could get ugly. They make it work for now. For a corner. Tent Gunner still middle of three. RS Fastlane 11 trying to quickly get around that. Coming off a of two. Tank Gunner, middle of three. This is bad news for the for the four car looking to settle down low. As somehow they get around all that. Oh, we got some early pitting now. I think it was born ready. Oh, do I see trouble? I do see trouble. The eleven more cars. Big wreck. This is some. Um, they about clogged up the damn front stretch with all these cars. Yeah, that was like two separate incidents into one. I saw Tayo make a move. Oh, yeah, Tayo caused uh, Kyle D to hit the inside wall hard, and then. No, the, the incident was for. It looked like Kryptonite just CS. They didn't give each other enough room, and that creates a huge rope. What Mizzou and Ty somehow getting through there? Six, nice on the brakes. Is everyone else just freaking eats it? Good God! Yeah, I see Duke, he was about to go a lap down as yeah, the lead pack bearing down on him as freaking cars everywhere. I think Ethan might have did a decent job minimizing the damage he got, but everyone else just freaking turned it into a parking lot. As we see varying degrees of strategy. Why is Born Ready pitting again? Is Duke a lap down? No, he's on the lead lap. Now, the top five for top six cars stayed out. Fucking why? This looks like suicide via poor practices. So, I have no idea why these guys. 
did not crank it down to the pits. They're setting themselves up for disappointment. I'm almost expecting another early yellow because the top six, or now top five, top four now, must be hurting on fuel. I think Hyper, he's all pitted up and ready to go. That's a phrase he wants to hear. His pit crew actually doing things correctly this time. What a twist. Yeah, Caddy and Steve knew when to fold him, but these top four are in for a world of hurt. As Blasta uh, not getting the restart he wanted, so that's going to fucking cause him to be slow as hell. Alright, the top three still getting a good jump, though, but these other guys, like, oh, shit. Like watching Granny at the grocery store. Fucking move! Blasta regretting his life choices. Little by little, this is, this leaves the fucking door wide open for Hyper to take the points lead. As Blasta is pitting, all those other guys are pitting. Oh, no, Hyper! No! His pit crew is hypnotizing him to make stupid decisions. That's my new headcanon. Oh, my God. Jesus, talk about stereotypical NCS. The five has a perfect opportunity to make wonders in progress, and his pit crew fumbles the fucking bag. <laughs> oh my god. Jerry out front. Clipper, Cha, Karibo. These drivers making some heads of it. Really good progress here. Yeah, Jumbo. Seemed to be the only one who actually DNF from the crash earlier, but let's check back in with Ladion. He is he is not that quick right now, so another heartbreaker for the 52. Some of these guys in this front pack looking to take the glory for themselves. Still got time on the clock. It, it ain't. Uh, you, you, can, you can't just expect this all to quickly come to you. It, it's a slow, methodical process in winning a race. That one racer, he's coming hard. Eddie just doing the daily routine. He's really good at these big, long tracks. See if he can get it done here today. Ethan. Looking awfully fine. Ethan's a little too good here. Couldn't tell you, but... Look at... the car in the wall. Hey, I got some trouble. Going on down here. Hi ho, the caution is out, and holy fuck, Exalta just yeeted himself, and Hyper is done with this race because of his shitty pit strategy. And fucking holy shit, they're dead. Jesus Christ, talk about Arca breaking it in there. Tayo just fucking. Oh, man, him, Eddie, must have got some damage. He probably stacked some of those drivers up on the bottom. His Shaw killer spins out. Karibo doing a great job on the brakes. RS Fastlane 11 avoiding, oh, a lot of drivers avoiding hitting the 15. Exalted just fucking full send into the goddamn car. Hyper just, like, Fuck this, I'm a lap down, I'm going to lose anyways, might as well take myself out early. And Duke running into him, not cool, man, not cool. Alright, who's even leading? Ethan's leading. Fuck it, well, you got your close caution, but... 
by that time it was far too late to do jack shit about it. All right. Caddy King is your leader. Tank Gunner is one lap down. RS is one lap down. So, yeah, that sucks for some of you. I will say, with all the cars crashing and wrecking, it actually kind of offsets the bad luck that Ladion has. So, if that's a silver lining for anyone who actually uh, gives a shit. The nine of Canadian Lux looking for his first win. Surprised he hasn't gotten one sooner. Vent Nation. Ready to kick some asses. Oh, I think Blast has got damage to the hood. Yeah, Blast must be a damaged car. There's no way he'd be that slow when he's all pitted up. He's got a couple drivers trying to get their lead lap back, but... It's just, they're probably not going to get the caution that they want. Vent Nation, stalking around in third. Is Tank will be on the high side there. Just let the lead lap cars go to work here. Oh, how fucking Caddy King not giving up. He's been in three different cars and has not been able to make any one of them work, but this one seems all right. Fat Nation trying to take himself to the playoffs. Shake and bake, looking aggressively. Oh, this is about to get real shady here. They're just letting the 43 of Caddy King have his way with the lead here. As he's getting help from the 51. Vent Nation not going to take this one lying down. Whoa, who all got eliminated in that one crash? Hyper, Duke, Ty, Salta. A racer somehow still in the race. Yeah, Vet Nation pulls out the second here, but I'm not sure if he's got anything else going for him. Oh, he's got a big run. As the caution is out again. Yep, we done wrecked up more cars. Talk about an indie experience. Can Caddy hold off Vet Nation to the stripe? That is the question we need to know the answer to. Caddy King holding off Vet Nation. That is, that's about the luck Vet Nation can get in this series. He can't buy a break of his life. Fucking depended on it. So as we investigate the caution, RS Fastlane 11 actually made the gamble work and he's back on the lead lap. Holy shit. My man's actually did a good thing. Let's see who wrecked. It, it didn't. It could have been long before there. Oh, it was Eddie and Falcon. Oh. Yeah, Falcon just kind of got put in a three-wide scenario, and then when he gets hooked by Laundry, Laundry got a little bit of damage too. Eddie and Falcon wrecking across the line. That is unfortunate for those two. There's two more... Wrecked cars. There's just two more positions for Ladion. And Ladion looking awfully close to Karibo as far as track position. So, uh, the damage might not be that bad. The Caddy King still holding his fucking lead somehow. All these... Lead lap drivers are going to stay out, it appears to be. Tank running 25th, one lap down. I think everyone's staying out. They've got enough to make it work as RS moving up to lead lap. 
I think it's too little too late for him, but, I mean, make up as much position as you can. Uh, somebody must have fucked it up. Who's in fourth right now? Steve? Steve Pitted? Don't ask why. All right. A two-lap showdown to the end. Could have asked for a better finish myself. It's going to be Caddy King, Mizzou, Ace, Fent, Ethan, Italian, Shake, Cade, Bourne, and Kyle D. Could have asked for a more random top ten if I tried. Two to go. The green flag is right out. 43. This is going to be for all the marbles here. Mizzou has the strength to muscle it on the low side. It's going to be rather anticlimactic for our 43 friend here. As Caddy's Cinderella story hits midnight, the low line train is picking up steam. Mizzou out front trying to pick up his second win of the season. Try to elevate him to playoff status. Ace just buying time. He's been in this song and dance before. He knows exactly what it takes. Need to get it done here. F4 Ace looks low. Trying to get up. Foot. Trying to get up. Foot in the door. All right, he succeeds in that part. Now, Vent Nation's going to push him, but he's also going to try and take it over. Ace trying to manage Vent out back. This gets interesting when they come down to the three. Ace, a little half a lane higher. He makes it work. F4 Ace, he's out front. Look at Vent, get the run on the bottom. The push, I don't think it's going to be enough. F4 Ace is out front and gets it done. Oh, man. It's finally accomplished for the 17 team. They put in so much work. Just how many times they finished a heartbreaker second place only to slip up short. But now, it's time for Ace to celebrate at the top of the mound. Pretty decent finish, too. Vet Nation getting a second, second place in a row. That's got to sting a bit. Look at the remainder of results. Yeah, it's, it's about how it goes. That was a pretty short one, but man, Indy, known for packing the action. We'll see you next time. Balls.